Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Reese here from C Manga and welcome to part two of these three part fairy tale review with chapter three three nine, A Drop in Time. Um now yeah, this here was a chapter basis that I have actually been waiting for. It finally helps to solve a lot of the time confusion. Um like how obviously if time reset and nothing technically happened, how does everyone still have their memories, you know? And like all the destruction, how's that still left? Well, um, Thanks to all these happenings with time and everything, basically time has basically been warped. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a cop out, you know, saying like, oh yeah, it's a time warp now, that's why everything's like this. Um, but it does help explain a lot, basically, you know. It's like time travel is always a really confusing thing, and yeah, this kind of like explains a little. Um, so, Doran Bolt, he's back. Um, it seems that like none of the Magic Council have know anything about what's going on. They basically just thought, oh yes, yeah, it's a normal tournament. Um, so yeah, like basically like exactly like the town folk, they were kind of like thinking that the dragons were an illusion. The council also think that now, and we find out this is all thanks to Doran Bolt and his memory magic. He basically altered everyone's memories so that no one kind of like remembers anything about the Eclipse Gate, the dragons, people from the future. So. You know what this kind of raises the thing that technically this guy here he actually has like one of the most powerful magics of all you know because uh, obviously if he can uh, alter people's memories he can control anything about them he can like put anything in their heads like oh yeah I'm your ally and they stab him in the back you know or it's like oh yeah this guy is your enemy and then he'll try to kill the then he'll try to kill this guy so yeah perfect for infiltration and everything so how comes he can't just like go off find Zerev and alter his memories and that so that you know he could basically kill him um, the only really thing that I can kind of like, think which will kind of stop that is obviously Zeref being like so strong that he'll be able to see this you know because obviously this guy was what the origin of most dark magic so yeah that's kind of the only thing I can see which will kind of stop that situation happening uh, what else we can actually find out about Cobra, what happened to Cobra and uh, it turns out he kind of like willingly put himself back into custody but not before kind of like cryptically saying um, the stuff about the um, gates of hell opening in Tartarus so yeah Tartarus is another dark guild along with like you know the Eurasian six and all that um, so my thinking with this kind of like premonition is that this is kind of like being going to be the incident that Futuro was talking about that happens in like a year so you know the um, incident which kind of like killed Froche and like triggered him off and everything so I'm thinking that maybe all the dark guilds they kind of get together um, under Zerif and Agnolia and kind of like rise up to try to take over everything and then obviously that starts like a big light versus dark war and yeah that is what kind of kicks off this whole future rogue starting everything they're trying to come back but obviously now he can't come back because the eclipse gate's broken so yeah it's going to be interesting now to see what occurs from that whole this is what's happening in a year and what's going to kind of be the aftermath of it so yeah Cobra's now basically going to just sit back in his cell until this day kicks off. Uh, finally, we do actually get um, Old Tears' death finally get addressed. Uh, a mysterious old woman just comes out of nowhere and basically hands Jalal and Melody a note from her, which is basically just talking about how, oh yeah, she's moved on. Um, don't forget, you know, don't forget anything. Remember the whole motto of the guild, how we move forward and try to defeat evil wherever it is. All this stuff. Um, but yeah, it kind of turns out that that old woman is actually Altir herself. Um, this is kind of revealed with like when Fairy Tale heading back um, in the wagon, Grey's looking out the window, he sees her, and it's like, wait, I recognise that kind of thing. It's like, oh my god, and then yeah, it's kind of imp it's kind of implied that that is actually Altir because you're just like, yep, like mother, like daughter kind of thing. So this kind of like raises two things with what is going on there. It's like the first is probably that the time magic that she used used up so much of her energy that she didn't die but in fact like aged really really fast kind of like how when what's her name when Tsunade unleashes her um, little seal thing after it she uses it for too long she just ages back to her original age something like that could have happened either that or it could be which I'm not really thinking is going to be the one is that because obviously she can kind of like you know alter her image of her magic and that so she could have like altered herself to an old woman but that would kind of like be why would she do that why would she kind of leave Jalal and Melody on their own to do their thing and she just goes off to like what just live in a hole somewhere and just never be seen again so like why would she bother doing that so yeah I'm guessing it probably is the former of that she's used up so much magic that it just aged her rapidly turned her into an old woman so that now she has next to no magic power to do anything 
So yeah, that's kind of like what I'm thinking. So yeah, that there is basically chapter 339, you know, like I said, it was actually a really good chapter in my opinion. Um, it did kind of like wrap up a few of the issues, much better than the last one, which was obviously kind of just like slice of life filler. This one actually seemed to serve a purpose, you know? So yeah, hopefully more good chapters like this one are gonna come and yeah, luckily we won't have to wait long to find out what's next because obviously chapter 340 should be coming out soon. So yeah guys, um, you know, usual, let me know what you think of this chapter in the comments below. Do you think this kind of like explains a lot about the whole time confusion and everything? Um, also, you know, the usual, if um, you enjoyed the video, give it a little thumbs up. It really does help the series. And don't forget to check out the channel for more content. So, see you soon.